Hello, welcome to our Buffalo Hearing and Speech Center Rosewood School location. My name is Desiree Baker. I'm the assistant principal here at Rosewood. Kim Haltman is our interim principal and Shaylin Jordan is our office coordinator. Here at Rosewood, we have a bridge builders program and what that program is meant to do is bridge the gap for students who need just a little bit more time to build those foundational skills. The program focuses on early childhood development, which is grades K to two at our location. Our program is a play-based and child-centered methodology that is supported by teachers, paraprofessionals, and therapists to work together in a collaborative team approach to meet the needs of our students. Our hope is that by the end of the kiddos' time at Rosewood, they'll be able to go back to their home district with the skills and confidence to be with their gen ed peers. Meet the teachers at BHSC Rosewood, Hannah Benson, Heather Vicoria, Molly Vatemaker, Cecilia Colvin, Molly Gowan, Megan Bischoff, Nicole Gansha, Doshi Shanahan, and Rebecca Bunnell. At BHSC Rosewood, we focus on the importance of building relationships with all students across services and teams. Each classroom is made up of different areas to support educational learning through the use of flexible seating, lofts, sensory corners, circle time areas, and independent workstations that the students help create. Academics are differentiated to meet students' individual needs. Within the classroom, teachers use hands-on learning to create meaningful and engaging experiences for the students. Differentiation is done through whole group, small group, and one-on-one -on -one instruction. The use of technology in our smart boards foster whole group engagement, communication, and participation across different content areas. Self-regulation is a person's ability to control their thoughts, emotions, and actions to achieve a desired outcome. Within school, this could look like a student's ability to share a toy, follow a teacher's direction, or not exhibit male adaptive behaviors when things aren't going their way. The use of music and movement, visuals, and sensory tools such as bubbles, headphones, play-doh, and water allow the students to express their wants and needs to co-regulate their bodies across all settings. Students are even able to take the tools used at school and bring them into their homes and community. Our speech therapists are Denise Simon, Melissa Schnell, Emma O'Connor, and Selena Krikovich. In individual and group speech language therapy, our speech therapist's major focus is to build strong, trusting relationships to enable the children to improve their ability to maintain self-regulation, share attention, and engage with teachers and peers. All of these abilities are the building blocks of learning and language. When our students are regulated, sharing attention, and engaged, we use a total communication approach to help the children communicate with peers, teachers, and therapists in whatever way is possible for them. By gesturing, pointing, taking an adult's hand to show them what is wanted, by using verbal sounds, words, phrases, and sentences. We also use pictures for communication and manual signs to help foster each child's individual abilities to communicate. Rosewood Occupational and Physical Therapists have successfully serviced kindergarten through second grade students with their school-based goals. Our licensed therapists service students one-on-one, -on -one, in small groups, or with classroom instruction. They provide direct and consultative student services. Therapists work on sensory regulation, gross motor skills, fine and visual motor skills, school-related self-help skills, and address difficulties with staying on task, disorganization, or for reasons that it might affect learning or behavior. Our Rosewood therapists consist of Dan Huegato, occupational therapist, Mary O'Sullivan, occupational therapist, Melanie Rosinski, occupational therapist, Scott Swanson, physical therapist, Kristen Scobie, physical therapist, and Megan Droza, physical therapist. Occupational therapists help students perform particular tasks necessary for participation or learning. 
The whole purpose of school-based occupational therapy is to help kids succeed. They look at the whole child, tackle individual tasks, helping students find ways to do things they need and want to do. Occupational therapy also provides consultation to teachers about how classroom designs affect attention, why particular children behave inappropriately at certain times, or to see the child based on his or her learning style or their needs. School-based physical therapists are part of the educational team who support a student's ability to access his or her educational environment. This is different from medical-based physical therapy. As specialists in movement, physical therapists assist the student's physical participation in a variety of settings throughout the school day. The primary role of the school physical therapist is to help students benefit from their educational program and can vary based on students' individual educational needs. Intervention and goals in the school setting also address the functional needs in accessing all areas of the school curriculum. Physical therapy interventions are designed to enable the student to travel throughout the school environment, such as managing stairs, restrooms, cafeteria, etc., modifying the environment to maximize participation, such as with adaptive seating or changing positions in the classroom, altering expectations to maximize success and independence, educating staff to enhance physical participation. Overall, school-based Physical and occupational therapy is intended to help meet the therapeutic needs of a student and it is intended to ensure that a child can have physical access to his or her education. Hi, I'm Ellen Stott and I am the gym teacher. I have my master's degree in adapted physical education and over 20 years teaching experience. My goal is to get your child up and moving and I love to play. I'm so happy to work with your child. Hi, my name is Amy Roberts. I am the music and art teacher at Rosewood. One of our goals at Rosewood is to help children learn how to express themselves and understand their feelings. We accomplish this in my room by playing instruments, singing, dancing, and interacting together. Music makes our bodies feel good. We also create amazing art projects with a sensory approach to art, meaning everyone's art is as unique as your child. At BHSC Rosewood, we work hard with our community to provide engaging and meaningful field trip experiences for our students. Due to sensory processing disorders, we work to have a lot of field trips in our school environment where the students feel safe. A few of our visitors include the Buffalo Aquarium, Nickel City Reptiles, Glen Colton for a concert, and the Book Mobile through Erie County Public Library, which has also provided families with library cards. Our BHSC playground is a safe and secure area that allows our students to engage in gross motor play, which helps to increase communication and engagement. Over the years, we've witnessed friendships form through support from staff, through gross motor and outdoor play. BHSC Rosewood is located in the town of Cheektowaga and a very very quiet and well-established neighborhood. Teachers and therapists often take the students on walks in the community. They visit the creek, which has ducks and other wildlife. They also visit postal boxes nearby to mail letters. Homes in our communities have shown so much support for our school by decorating their homes for holiday scavenger hunts, as well as allowing us to take our students trick-or-treating for Halloween at their homes. We're proud to say that we're a part of such a great community. We want to thank you for choosing Buffalo Hearing and Speech Rosewood location. We hope to see you in person soon.